Reef DVM's coming at you with the weighted goat barn updates for 2019. A lot of little projects have been going on with the goats this year. Um, we're not going to go through the winter with just heat lamps again. That's absolutely not happening. So what you're watching is you're watching me uncoil a half inch copper tubing. My wife digging in trenches. This is the front of the goat barn and we're trenching water lines in, which is what I'm doing at the moment, and fuel lines. Fuel line for propane water line for water to automatic waters. You've seen us put these Bar Bar A waters in before. I've got several videos on them. I'm not going to bore you with another video. But again, we ran all the way from our big propane tank down a half inch line. We also ran uh, another water line down, hooked it up to a Bar Bar A, and um, made an automatic water for the goats for all winter. As you can see, it takes a little time to kind of get the goats used to it and kind of get them pressing that paddle down. But once that was in place, back inside to the barn um, to get some more improvements um, while we waited for some parts to come for the furnace. One of the things we did uh, for the summer months is we installed a fan and a switch. Um, you know, got one of these nice fans that's, that's made for a barn. It's UL listed. It's, it's completely covered on the motor end so that it doesn't get dust in it. It ended up becoming a barn fire, which is, you know, something you really don't want. This one um, does have several speeds, which is really nice, and I put it on a switch just to make it easier um, for us to turn on and off versus doing a pull cord and risking the goats uh, pulling on the cord themselves. The pull cord then henceforth I kept real short so the goats couldn't reach it, but it's got three speed, three speed settings, um, and you know it's, it can be swiveled and turned. Once we got that installed, the parts finally came for the Renai uh, furnace. These are direct vent furnaces, which is really nice in goat barns. Um, the little exit port there and then the gas line. One thing I like about the direct vent furnaces is you're not, you know, filling your barn with moisture. Goat barns already have enough trouble with moisture. I don't need more. Um, I did um, get this one with the optional little kit to have a thermostat mounted a ways away because the temperature is always hotter higher up. So I ran a thermostat cord right back down to the furnace where I could then adjust it. Fairly easy install. Uh, one day to dig in the wire and fill the, the trench. Um, another day to, to install the furnace and I get the venting in and get it hooked up. And then when we finished that, we turned our attention to the outdoor area where we did just for, you know, the little ones when the kids are being released outside, want to tie to the wall, another heat barrel. Um, with a with a heat lamp in it. Again, this is not inside the barn. It's actually in the lean just next to the barn. Um, we wanted to put a kind of a creep gate in it so they could creep feed. I got to put the creep feeder in it yet. That's not quite done, but we're getting there. And then the last parting shot I'll show you is again the playground. I know I've already put out a video on the playground, but as you can see, we put the recycled concrete that we found on the farm in and made a nice pile for the goats to play on. The goats absolutely love this pile, folks. It's stacked real nice and safe, and they love climbing on it and having a great time. It's a good way to recycle and save concrete. This particular concrete had been left on the farm years ago from an old patio that had gotten ripped out, and we wanted to recycle that. So these are the updates for 2019 on the farm, folks, and I hope you enjoyed them. Please like and subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos on the farm for you.